Oh, is that loud? Probably. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to serenade you this morning, this yeah. evening, this afternoon. This wherever you are, whatever time zone. Yes. Take it away, Chris. Didn't you write that song? Yeah. OK. I lied. I don't have a song. I wrote a song. OK, give me, give me it. All right, we'll keep. You're watching the live stream. She's Chris and I'm May. We're gonna be drawing pictures with you today. So please get your pencils and your paper too. And have a good time. We really missed you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you dropped the microphone. Oh my goodness. Only part of it, but we did great. Hi everyone! Hello! How is everybody today? Welcome to the Clay Entertainment live stream with a focus on arting today. Yes. I'm going to draw along. It's going to be really fun. I'm Chris. I'm a writer. I am May. I am not a musician here. I no. am an artist currently working on the Don't Star project. So, it's good to see all you guys. It's been a hot minute since we've... Actually, this is our first time... Yeah, this is the first time we streamed together. Doing a a stream together. So um, if you didn't know, today is going to be uh, a draw along. And so we're going to be drawing pictures. Chris is going to draw along with me. She's got her. I have my notepad. And a pencil. And my cute little pen that has um, a little cactus on the top. So I'm going to give you guys uh, three minutes to go grab your art supplies. And we're going to be drawing some don't starve things together. And Two. go. Run, 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 yeah. Run. Uh, it's good to see all these. Um, familiar names on the Twitch, um, what's this section called? Twitch chat? Talk? Chat. Chat thingy. Log. Yeah. Uh, if you got any questions art related or video game related, just type them and Chris and I will be honest with our answers. And uh, yes, we also have um, an artist spotlight. Oh, yeah. Section today. So let's we should do that now. Let's do it right now. Yeah. Here we go. Let's look at some of your art. Uh, fan art spotlight. Here we go. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do this and then make it the full screen. Yeah, man. Is that, Just is that, uh, is that maximize this window here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yo, look at this. Beautiful. Steam Irilucent. Look at that. So this artist actually sent us some keychains once. No way. That really? were beautiful. Um, she did every single one of the characters and they were like, spot on, wow. like just gorgeous. How come I didn't get one? Um, I don't think anybody specifically got them. We just have them in the office to, okay. to the, appreciate the, forever. Sharing. This yes. is this is the final battle from yeah. uh, New Rain. Yeah. Oh man, they're in. It's the Field Weaver. That's crazy. Very cute. Right, switching it up. Too. We got from Deviant Art. Blip, 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 blip. blue. Very how, cute. How cute is that? We got shadow monsters in the background. A mysterious uh, Maxwell shadow. How do you know it's Maxwell? Because he's got the shoulder pads. Is that, is that the giveaway? Yeah. OK. He's got the curly shoulder pads. Oh, thanks for send the, sending this in blip. Yeah, blip it's very blue. cute. I like it. I'm glad to see Wilson happy for once. <laughs> <laughs> 
I guess with he leads a rough life. <laughs> with, with the fan art, you can kind of take um, the characters uh, and put them in your own interpretation. Because usually we wouldn't mm -hmm. really see him smiling, so it's it's cool. Uh, you want to call this shot this one out? Tantus from Deviant Art has this one. Cool. It looks like it's kind of a movie. So it has Don't Star featuring Wilson and Willow. Yeah, you know, I, the, what I really like in this one is the um, the overlay element, mm. the the blurred oh, mushroom. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a cinematic I also like that right it there. tells a story, like you get an idea, like they're getting chased by this monster and they need to get away. Yeah. It's a what, nice moment. What sound is, is Willow making? Um, mm. What's her, in, she's a flute? No. Change it up. <laughs> you know, Wendy shot, is an ultra shot, flute. Shut this one up. Uh, Aileen Rose? It's Aileen. very beautiful. Aileen? Aileen or Eileen? Uh, oh, that could be Eileen too. Eileen? Cool. Well, this is Willow. It looks very lovely. It looks like you did a digital painting. Very devious. Yeah. Kind of smart. It's in the... Very in character. It's got the smizing going on. And some good hair work there too. I, I feel nice like... Nice detail in there. I'm trying to... Um, I feel like she's just set something on fire. Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah. Without a doubt. <laughs> it's on the eyes. I learned a lot about smizing, actually, from uh, top model. Smizing? Clay. Okay, smile we got eyes? cat star. Ooh. You don't know what smizing is? Is that like smile eyes? Yeah. Smiling through your eyes? It's where you... Where you... I, I don't think I should do that. <laughs> I don't think I should do that. <laughs> no! I could do it. I don't think you no, could No, I cannot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, anyway, okay, a very okay. beautiful drawing. <laughs> so many characters. It's a battle. You uh -huh. got Charlie and uh, very cute chibi style. Yeah, that big is heads. There's a lot of detail. I like how the um, the fuel weaver is like. Oh in the yeah. Well. What up, cookie Aww, that's person of doom? <laughs> <laughs> cookie person of doom. <laughs> a very sweet Weber. I'm always glad when Weber is happy. Look at that smile. My mom's got a little top hat. I wonder See? if this person was doing this during math class. It looks like it. I approve of that. I used to do it a little lot when I was in class. When, when they should have been mm -hmm. doing mathematics. Well, I mean, some people have the kind of mind where they absorb more information if they're like doing something with their hands while they're listening. Yeah. Like fidget spinning? Mm, yes, yes, like that. But drawing is more productive yeah. than fidget spinning. <laughs> yeah. You call this oh, it's shout out. Weber again. Shout out so to cute. Night Wonder 7. Yes. Very cute. In Feeding a cave spider. There's they, some nice pen. Is that ink? Uh, I'm gonna guess that is watercolor. watercolor. Yeah, but like with uh, like a pen, right? On top. Yeah, very nice. Good shading work. I always get really scared of like uh, watercolors, so I'm like afraid I'm gonna mess up my beautiful drawing. It's a, uh, watercolors are good um, because of the happy accidents. Oh yeah. Because it's unpredictable, so sometimes you can get some very uh, wonderful things. Nice. From see. It. What Aww. up, Spindlewick? Spindlewick. I'm always very nervous that I'm going to read a prank name. <laughs> I think you're safe on this one. Yes. Very cute Spindle Wizard of Oz AU. Has there, been, <laughs> has, has there ever been Wizard of Oz mods? Mm, I think it would uh, look very Maybe well. a mod. I'm not sure. We haven't had any Wizard of Oz skins yet. Yeah. But I very much appreciate WX as the Tin Man. How come Wolfgang is the scaredy? Um, because he's very strong, but he's also very cowardly. Is he? Yes. I didn't know that about He's very, he's very afraid, afraid of the dark and all monsters. Who's, who we got here? Ooh, Maxwell by, uh, Wefisto. Whoa, someone is caressing, <laughs> caressing oh, it's Charlie. Gen gently, but also causing pain. Aww. You know, there's a lot of emotion so going on So is some there. of this ink and some of this is, oh no, it's still ink. I think, it, I think they dark. spent a lot of time, like, hatching mm -hmm. all those lines out. It's very nice. That's a lot of effort. Yeah. I like the border too. Yeah, it all flows together. Mm -hmm. Man, I, I have emotions from this. Yeah. What's it's trapped in the throne. Are, are they in love? Uh they have a like a mmm. Okay, let's No. Oh, okay. Okay. Me, okay. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Who we got here? Uh C -G. C -G. Oh, this is very nicely rendered. Yeah. Wow. Is this one digital? Uh um, Maybe. Maybe. It's Maybe. very nice. I like um like the way that they've stylized the characters. Yeah, look at those cheekbones. I know, so defined. What I like, I, we hardly see this amount of detail mm -hmm. in, in in our style uh, mm -hmm. in the game, so it's really cool to see that. And we're back to the beginning. That was Good job, fun. you guys. Wow, thank you for sending that. Thank you for sending in all those. 
fan arts. Jan um, scours the internet looking for them, uh, but you can also post them onto the forums. And we love seeing the artwork. Um, if you want a chance to be spotlighted, send them in, and um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So, yeah, we always love seeing it, so please do. Yes, it <laughs> brightens up our day. Uh, while we were doing that spotlight, we actually had to cover the chat, so we, did, we might have missed any mm. uh, questions you guys had been sending in. So forgi forgive us if we didn't um, catch those. Um, hope you guys got your um, art equipment. I'm going to be drawing today on the Cintiq. Digital. Um, digital. So I think we should just get to Yeah, let's get it. into it. And Chris, you're going to um, man the chat sure uh, so yeah yeah it's let's let's do it let's do it I'm gonna switch up here uh, this one boom yes perfect first here try we go oh I guess I guess um if you've been reading the forums Bigfoot posted a very big big thing are we allowed to talk about all the, the announcements uh, I think so because it's all been announced yeah, why, don't you, why don't you share yeah. a bit about that um, so we just announced that there is a new DST event coming. Um, I don't think we can say, well, I guess we can say what it is because it was in the post. Um, so it's called The Forge. It's going to be very fun. Um, that one's for multiplayer. And then we also announced uh, Hamlet recently, which is a single player add-on. And I noticed, um, Minds Patch, you had a question about the pig in the uh, trailer. Um, so we don't want to reveal too much just yet. It's a little bit early, but um, that pig is a mayor, and that's uh, probably all we need to say right now. <laughs> but so yeah, it's going to be... Um, is it a standalone DLC, or is it something you have to... I don't know, it's a, it's a single-player DLC, anyway. So what are you doing here? Are you making some construction lines? Uh, so I'm, I, I haven't actually... Uh, I'm just drawing the character model, so I know... Um, which character I'm going to be doing, and then I'm going to pose them out. So you don't have to really follow along this part. Okay. But uh, I think I'm going to be drawing um, Wes, and then okay. so I just want to draw his basic model. Um, so don't follow here. I just need to get a sense of what he looks like, and then I'm going to pose him out. So I want to know what my character looks like. So interesting. I'm going to follow along, even though you're not doing a drawing I said yet. not to. I know, but I'm doing it. You can't stop me. Okay. <laughs> Getting an idea for what the shape of the head is like. So right now, I'm just learning what the character's shapes is, and then uh, I'm going to apply that to actual posing. So right now, like you guys don't really want to draw him just standing like that. I'm going to make him a bit more dynamic, but I just wanted to know like his proportions. So like I'm gonna measure out his about like two and a half head lengths high. Mm. Um, so now that I have that as a as a basis, I can uh, use this information and and put him in a situation. Chris, you do have the cutest laugh ever. Says Ninja. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Have you heard that before? Um, usually I get uh, less kind comments <laughs> about my laugh. <laughs> People are dissing on your laugh? Possibly. Why would they do that? It's quite loud. But but being joyful is such a such a I mean I'm having thing. fun, so I'm drawing a Wes. Okay. So I'm gonna be drawing Wes. So what do you do here at Clay, Chris? Why don't you talk about um, uh, sure. your role? Um so I am a writer and I was uh, one of the first writers who was uh, hired at Clay to be specifically a writer and not also doing like design that sort of stuff. So typically what I'm doing like on the day to day is uh, writing strings and whatnot. Um, so that a string in the game is like a dialogue line that you would see the character speak when they're inspecting another item. Uh, so I do all of those inspection strings. So like if you pick up a rock and you click on it and Willow says, oh, it's a rock, that's like the kind of work that I do. But then I also do um, the lore stuff behind like new events and stuff. So I can't talk about what it is specifically, but there is some lore for the forge is coming out. So that's all stuff that I did. So you've, you've learned um, very well how to say, uh, I don't know, or well, I'm not allowed to say. Say what? You've learned like how to like deflect when people... Um, yes. Yeah. 
I, so you can uh, try as much as you want. A lot of my job is saying, sorry, can't talk about it yet. Yeah. Okay, cool. Sorry. So <laughs> I'm going to be drawing. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll give um, some, some instructions as I go along so that you guys can follow through. So I've already thought in my mind that I want to draw Wes. And I've thought of um, uh, a pose that I want him in. And it's actually going to be, I'm going to leave it, um, the final image open-ended so that you guys can finish it and that you, and then you can post it on the forums. So I'm hoping to, I'm hoping you guys enjoy doing this and that you will contribute to the forum thread and um, I'd like to see how you finish it off. So what I want to do is I want to draw Wes holding a balloon, but I'm not going to finish the balloon. Well, I might finish the balloon and then I'd like to see your take on it. So the pose I'm going to go with, I usually start uh, with a thumbnail, like I draw pretty small and um, I kind of just draw them as, as a stick figure really, just trying to figure out um, like what, what pose I want, what works. So thumbnailing is good. Uh, So I made a Wes, but my proportions are a little bit off. What do I do if I've done that? Uh, you start again. Yay! <laughs> um, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's your interpretation. So what, I, what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to do is um, figure out a good uh, silhouette for the character, because if I have my character holding the balloon, uh, like if his hand is right in front of his face, and the balloon is up here, then there's a lot of, like, it, it doesn't read clearly. So that's why I have his arm reaching out to the side like that. So you can very clearly see what the character is doing. So I think something squeaking. Sorry, that was me. Just kidding. Hey. <laughs> uh, cool. So I like this one. So what I'm gonna do is I feel like I get a, a better sense of. Um, the overall drawing when I draw a small thumbnail and then I'm actually going to just copy and paste this on a separate layer and then I'm going to enlarge it like so. Turn that off here because I feel like um, my smaller uh, sketches have a lot more energy in them. And I'm going to create a new layer and, and drop this opacity down like that. And it's kind of like drawing lightly with a pencil first and then going over with ink. So this first layer I treat as like my pencil layer and then I'm going to go into my inking layer. I think I did better this time. Oh, wait, no I didn't. <laughs> See, see. Oh no, I started. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I drew earlier on this uh, in the bottom corner, like um, my character model. So I've used that information to kind of plan out the sizing of the character. So like I have one head, two, two and a half heads here. And I know that information because of the two and a half heads that I have down here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start my inking process. So you just start with the head. Uh, oops. I'm drawing on the wrong layer. There we go. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to label these so I have a better idea. Joe is making fun of me for snorting. How embarrassing. I know. Just trying to live. So if you're doing um, traditional art as opposed to uh, digital art, do you still draw 
this stick figure and how do you do it? Like you draw over top of it first? Yeah, like with, with, with a pencil. Yeah. And so then you do like, a pencil for the construction lines and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So actually I can add a bit more construction on this later. So I want I'm gonna draw the center of his face here. Well, I'll start off a circle, because I know that's like the foundation of of most heads. And I draw the center line for where I want the middle of his face to be. And then I put a line for where I, uh, I guess that's um, his cheek line. Uh, and then from the center point, that's where his chin is. And then I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> And then I know his ears are kind of start from the center point, and then his hair is kind of like this. Okay, okay. Interesting. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do this. Uh, and then his eyes sit around he's got here. A pointy chin. Okay, so I think. And his knees there. So now I'm stretch out here. Wes is actually the most difficult character to write for because he just has so much to say and so many conflicting opinions. He's a very complex man. All right, so that's my rough layer and I will add more detail right here. So I'm using the... Time out. Put the music, you mind putting on the VLC? Hi Jan, this is Jan everyone. I think the squeaking might be my notepad. This one. This one? Yeah. Random? And then click that. The other one. This one. <laughs> is that I'm gonna keep drawing. <laughs> Should be good. Thank you. Okay. Bye Jan! Thanks Jan! Alright. Okay. Uh, We're back. Uh, Let's do it. How's your drawing coming along? Um, oh, you yeah, yeah, see, I did a little bit better on my second Wes. I mean, it's still bad, but I, it, the proportions are better. Thumbs up, approval. <laughs> okay. Uh, so now I'm just gonna clean up this drawing. And one of the my favorite things about the Don't Starve style is the rough lines. Mm-hmm. You get a little bit more freedom. I'm gonna try again. Keep trying. Yeah. You know, what you matter. gotta do? Boop, 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 doop, doop, boop. I'm gonna, let's see. He's got a curvy arm on Would his side. Would he be side. happy about his balloon? Mm. I think he's very proud of his balloons. Right. It's like his craft. Hmm. Did you have to throw out a lot of uh, drawings when you were a kid? Um, did I throw them out? Yeah, like if, I mean, like My if you did, did you read? Oh no, why? Because they weren't good. Oh. But it made me stronger. Yeah? Yeah. I think my parents still have a big old box of um, like drawings and like uh, school assignments and stuff. They just keep all that forever. How nice. Yeah. Although, I don't know what I'm going to do with it when uh, it eventually comes to me to own. Because mm -hmm. uh, where do you put a big old box of where do you put all your stuff? Hmm. So even hmm. though I did my rough um, underneath um, during the cleaning process, I might change the pose a bit too, just depending on uh, where it takes me. Interesting. Let's see. It looks like he's still standing on the ground right now, but I want it to feel like he's flying, so I might bend his oh. toe down. My guy's on the ground. That's fine. You, you do you. Do I'll you. do me. I'll do me. And I think his pants come up a bit high, actually. <laughs> so. Hmm. Hmm. So, from what I know, Chris, you're not just a writer, because you have a history in doing art too, I right? I do. Um, I took uh, animation at Emily Carr University and I was there for four and a half years and I graduated with my BFA in animation and then I realized that I don't really like animation. 
What don't you like about animation? Um. Because I really like say. animation. Yeah. I don't know. Have you ever tried, ever tried uh, writing? Me? Yeah. Um, only songs. True. True. You're very good at it. Um, Thank you for the the, the fake. Uh, no. I actually quite enjoy the songs that you play on. You stream. know what Lion said about our playing stars, right? Yes. You go ahead and describe that one. So Lion says, <laughs> I play music like I'm busking for change. Yes. And you play music <laughs> like you're a real artist, like no, on, on, on Granville said. Island. I think he meant more I was like a hipster. Like, he said you, you actually have melody. Did he? Yeah. I. Did he say that? I yeah, don't remember did. that. I think you he made that part up. He didn't say up. it to your face. Mm. But he said it to my face. Oh, I see. I don't believe you, but that's beautiful. very nice. If you guys miss seeing Lion, Lion on the stream, type one. <laughs> Just one. Just one person type one <laughs> to get him back on. If more than one person types one, then we would know that you don't actually miss Lion. <laughs> <laughs> You're putting them in an awkward situation. I know. Actually, you know what? I'm doing his cuff wrong. I'm doing way better this time. Okay, so I'm gonna start draw the whole hand first and then draw the cuff, and I think that's better because it's got gloves on. So, what happens if your style is a little bit different from the thing that you're drawing? Uh, it depends. Like when I think you mentioned you didn't like animation, mm -hmm. and one of the reasons I know people don't like animation is because it's very hard to draw on model. Yeah. And um, because, uh, like in animation, you're drawing the same picture over and over again, and it has to look like um, everyone else is drawing. Yeah. Um, so I, it's a skill you can learn. Um, and so, for example, before I started working at Clay, I was working in TV animation, and. Um, you, know, you work on a project for however long, and then once that project ends, you have to start another project, and that project might look very different to the previous one. So you have some time to learn the style, and yeah, so it takes time, but you can do it. That was one of the things that um, made me move into writing as opposed to animation, was that um, you do need to draw over and over and over again like the same thing to really get good at it. and. I didn't really enjoy that process. Like, I enjoy doing things over and over again to get better at them. I think that's a fun thing, but not for animation so much for me, personally. Do you, do you find that um, you're writing things over and over again? Oh, yeah. Um, when you're writing, like, you need to do so many drafts to make something good and decent. And, like, um, I write, wrote, like, a 100 and some page novel once, and uh, rather than going back and, like, editing each bit of it, I'm thinking about just writing the whole thing again from scratch. Because, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you just gotta do that. Alright, so this is my balloon. You guys can draw whatever balloon you want, but my balloon is going to look like... Oh, I ran out of... Base. Oh no, you know good what? thing you're digital. It's 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 good thing I'm digital. <laughs> Boom. Easy. I like the little pinky that you have sticking out of his hand on the, the balloon side. Yeah. I think like something like that is um like something you you learn how to make things look less generic. Yeah. If he was just to have like a closed fist, it's okay, but adding a bit more personality, like an open pinky, just like it creates a bit more yeah. personality in, in the posing. And it, uh, yeah. So my balloon is a glomer, but it's it's not furry because it's, it's a balloon, so I'm just going to add some shine marks there. Nice. And uh, cool. Pro tip for the stripes on Wes's shirts. Shirt. I mean, his many could, shirts. You could just do straight lines like that, but if I want to create more uh, dimension in his body, so I might curve them like that. And that way, you can kind of see some depth in the character. 
And then... Oh, I forgot to... The head shapes in Don't Starve are very interesting. They are. They're, um... Like, you can tell what character it is just by the head shape, almost. Right. And I think that, that um, plays um, to the strength of seeing the characters in-game, because they're quite small, so you want to make sure you, you're able to differentiate the characters quickly, and that comes from, like, a head, a head shape. Cool. Um, I'm going to add some red to mine. <laughs> maybe I'm keep that up. Hold on. I'm gonna turn it off. And then I'm just gonna add a bit of grey for shading. Hmm. How you doing there, Chris? I'm uh, I'm doing, I'm doing. Making uh, it happen. Oh yeah. There's some parts that I'm happy with. There's some parts that I'm not happy with. But that just means I gotta do it again. So I think that's that's good with me, right? That looks awesome. <laughs> you gotta, don't don't show them here. Post it on the forum, and then, and then you can see okay. it on, on the forum. Yeah, you gotta come to the forums and check out what we did. Yeah, we'll check and out post your you, own. You please. can see what I, what I did. Yeah. So uh, that's that's the draw along. I think um, I'm gonna move on to uh, a bigger image. Cool. <coughs> and I'll you, see you. You can also draw along as well, but I probably won't be. Uh, well, yeah, you can draw along. Um, I don't know if if I'm gonna be able to talk my way through it as much um, because I might need to focus, but uh, I'll I'll try to. Or if you have any questions, just just type them and, and Chris will read them to me. You you guys will see this later. You guys now I want to show them. <laughs> you don't want to show them? No, now I want to. Oh, show them on the phone. I will. Okay. So this is good. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna minimize this and create a new file. file. What's been your favorite part of working at Clay so far? Uh, my favorite part of working at Clay so far is... Singing on the streams. Singing on the streams. And... Um, <laughs> It's all, it's all really good. Yeah. Um, being an artist here is good. Uh, being able to um, design uh, and animate um, and test the games is, is always fun. Yeah. When I was in TV animation, um, you, I was signed a specific role, so I was like either an animator or a poser. Right. And you kind of do that um, for the whole contract, but uh, at, at this company anyway. I think. Um, maybe because it's it's still a bit small, most of the artists have to um, be generalists. So I, I really like that about working at Clay specifically. <laughs> yeah. And the guitar, yes, watermelon six seven one. Yes, okay. the guitar. So for this image, whoops. For this image, I'm I'm thinking about drawing that drawing someone that hasn't been drawn before. On, oh yeah, on the stream. On the stream, a brand new person. Someone starting with W. Yeah, but you, that's too big of a hint. <laughs> <laughs> did, did I give it away? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ooh, someone says Jack Carter. Jack Carter. That's a very. Uh, esoteric character. I'm impressed Should that I? you know Jack Carter. <laughs> Do you know who Jack Do you know Yeah. Who? What's that relating to? It's from uh, one of the previous puzzles. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. You gotta be deep into the lore. <laughs> that person knows their thing. Yeah, man. Who was that person? Uh, that was... You need to go back up. Yeah, go back up. Ankh. Hey. Cool. Ankh is... And Watermelon also knows who Jack Carter is. I, I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> I can explain it to you after, but we should... 
not explain it on stream in case somebody oh, else wants to go okay, down that little okay. rabbit hole okay. of lore. So what I'm doing now is I'm just um, drawing thumbnails. So each box represents uh, the page, and I'm just kind of setting up my image uh, that way. And um, you know, comic book artists do this, and storyboard artists do this as well. Are you doing a comic? Well, no, no, no. I'm drawing, I'm drawing one image, but yes. I'm, I'm planning out. I see. Um, and I'm just giving myself the option of three things. I see. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm, I'm in the planning stage right now. Don't, don't, don't rush me. Okay, it takes, okay, okay. It takes time. <laughs> Not everyone can draw like Tony. You know. That's true. She would just figure it out straight yeah. away. Man, when I went to PAX, um, Tony was doing drawings for people and stuff, and it was like incredible. Like she had like this whole line like around the booth, and she would just like whip them right out, and there'd be like this beautiful drawing. And it was all in pen too. You have to be so confident for drawing in pen. It's like Sharpie. If you guys miss seeing Tony on the stream, type two. But two only, of you only type two. Yeah, any more than two. We'll know that you won't. You don't miss Tony. <laughs> uh, oh, and uh, don't sharp. Don't, don't starve. starve. Sh don't starve. Don't starve. Shipwrecked is available on Android now. You can get it on the Google Play Store. What? Yeah. Repeat that one more time. I, Don't I Starve Shipwrecked is available on Android, and you can get it on the Google Play Store. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Get get in get in there. <laughs> get in there and say it. Don't Starve Shipwrecked is available on Android, and you can get it on Google Play. Wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> That's cool. And there's some new content for it too, for uh, like PC uh, Shipwrecked. How, how would I draw someone that looks embarrassed? Pose it for me. I guess, uh, what? Say something embarrassing to me. Um, Make fun of my laugh. Your, your laugh is really adorable. <laughs> that just made me smile. Okay. Uh, g g I won't look at, I'm going to look at you through the, the mirror. Okay, so hand and cheek. Alright. I'm really embarrassed right now. Oh, don't look at me. So embarrassed. Hmm. Okay. So, so as an animator as well, um, and, and I'm guilty because I don't do this anymore, but I, I used to have a mirror in front of me so that I would be able to act out um, my expressions. So that's why I'm asking you to do it right now because I, I can't look at my own expression. Um, and it's because it's always good to have uh, references. Ref references. Also, like, any sort of, like, closed body language, like if you're holding your arm, like, you know. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Although you still do act, act out stuff at your desk occasionally. You seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. I'm like, oh, May's getting up. Oh, no, he's doing a character pose. Yes. It's funny. Yeah, because uh, you, you kind of know how things things work. Mm -hmm. And then so I'm, I'm animating a character now, but I, and, and they're like doing big things, yeah. so I, I gotta be standing and doing it. But I, do, I didn't want to say too much Yeah. about what I'm good. working on. Yeah, that was another thing I didn't like about animation is that I'm very shy, so like getting up in front of a group of people and uh, do, acting out a pose made me very embarrassed. You, it, it's like you're really exposing yourself. Yes. Animation is acting. Yep. It's just that you're not necessarily doing it with your body. In your face. I took a dance course recently and they said that was a lot of acting too. You did a dance course? I did! What was your dance course? I did a hip-hop class. I'm really bad at it. Can you show it. us some moves? Uh, I can do an arm wave. It's really cool. Go. Okay, wait. Which way am I? Hey, uh... I'm such a nerd. This is horrible. <laughs> wait, I want to try again. Okay. You, you have to you, like. You do you. You have to do each thing individually. I don't know. It was fun though. It's neat to try something that you've never tried before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah, I went to this course, and I was standing in the back of the class, and making all of the moves totally wrong and I was terrible at it. But then you just go again, and you get a little better each time. <laughs> so what are your different options here? Uh, I'm just trying to pose on my characters. I think I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna be drawing uh, Wilson and said character, 
and Wusen's building something, but he's building it wrong, and other characters really good at building things. So mm -hmm. that person is going to be looking over at Wilson, and she's embarrassed for him. Yes. So that's why I asked about them. That makes thing. sense. Yeah. So what expression would Wilson have if he's like building something, but it's not come to fruition? Very like focused on it. So like. Okay. So <laughs> he's, he's a bit frustrated, maybe. Yes. Okay, okay. I think I like this third one. Okay. So. Drag has, uh, Dragar has figured it out. It's clearly the warg that you were drawing. Right now? Mm-hmm. It starts with W. Oh. It all checks out. Is this the one you're going with? Yeah, I think we're going to go with this one. Cool. So it, it looks pretty rough, because it is, but... Um, I guess I I can see what direction I want to I want to go with it. Is my English good? Yes. <laughs> <Okay>. What? <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I don't I don't speak English good <laughs> good or enough. It was excellent. Thank you. Yes. I always have fun um, being on the Oni forums because every time uh, Yog puts out. Uh, a forum update, I get to go back and spell check it all, and uh, then I give him little grades based on how well he did. <laughs> so I'm like, B plus. You did good. A minus. You did even better. What do my characters look like? I need my, my references. There you go. He's never gotten an F. Oh, F triple minus? <laughs> Something I don't understand totally about drawing Don't Starp characters is how to do arms. It seems like sometimes they get quite a bit bigger than, like they, they stretch more? Uh, yeah. They do. Yeah. <laughs> they do. How do you do a stretched arm versus a regular arm? Uh, well, the way we draw them is um, for art is different to what they look like in game. Yeah. So I think there's a bit more liberty when we're drawing them uh, outside of game. Mm -hmm. So you just you just just do it. You just do it. Interesting. Is it like a squatch and stretch thing where like it has to get thinner if it gets longer? Uh, like yes. The volume has to stay the same. Yes. That's a, that's a good good thing that you <laughs> you brought up there. How do you know that? Because uh, I got an animation degree. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I do. It's kind of nice. Like even though I don't necessarily do art anymore, um, I think it helps with like, you know, hanging out with artists and knowing what to expect and stuff, and being able to communicate properly what each of you needs if you know all the terminology and stuff. I think that's what makes you. Uh, a strong asset um, in your role right now because you can kind of um, speak between different yeah. different languages. It's very fun. Yeah. And I also find I get less confused when I see people talking about like different builds and stuff and I'm like, okay, I understand like where you guys are headed with this and what you need from me and that kind of thing. I've also started um, dipping my tiny little raccoon hands into the code sometimes. What the? Yeah, I'm very bad at it, um, just like dancing. But if you keep going with it, then you figure stuff out sometimes. Good for you. <laughs> I can't write my own, my own code. I can only like take somebody else's code and then figure out what the things mean and then rearrange them so it does a different thing. I'm going to find where this upper hand is going to go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so my degree in animation is a Bachelor of Fine Arts. Uh, so I took a bunch of like traditional kind of art classes where I did like life drawing and um, also like art history and stuff, more academic things. Um, so it's a degree in animation, but it is like uh, a bachelor's, I guess. <laughs> Hey Emily! <laughs> My friend Emily is in chat. 
making fun of my raccoon hands. Dang it. When did you notice you had raccoon hands? Um, well, it's one of those things where like you're born with it, so you don't actually realize that it's different until like <laughs> way, way later in life. And then you look down, and you're like, oh no, I got tiny little raccoon hands. Did someone, did someone tell that to you? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just a joke that I have with my buddies. Okay. Um, in the studio, we refer to everybody who isn't Jambell as not Jambell. It's the official title of each person in the studio. Raccoons do have cute hands, but they're really creepy because they look like people hands. They have little thumbs and stuff. It's very upsetting. Ooh, somebody's guessing who you're drawing. Someone that's good at building. <laughs> So if raccoons have people hands and you have raccoon hands, then you have people hands too, right? That's a good point. Do you I think guess. there's a raccoon with people hands? Yeah, I think we got swapped at birth somewhere out <laughs> there's there. A, there's a raccoon out there that aspired <laughs> to be a writer that became an animator. <laughs> I'm very proud of that raccoon. They did great. So I'm going That's good this. to hear, Mew the Mew. Yes. Keep doing animation. Someone's studying animation? Uh, Mew the Mew says that they love animation. They love doing it, seeing it, seeing the rough animations, uh, and that it gives them life. <laughs> That's great. Did you have good um, career advice when you were in school? No. Okay. <laughs> we had very little. Um, like, I think a lot of people get like some sort of counseling where they say like, hey, I think you should go into this or like, these are your options. We didn't really have that. I just kind of applied to places. Um, and I applied to Emily Carr and got in and my parents were very proud of me. And I realized that I hadn't even talked to like my high school artist, bef uh, art teacher before I did that. And then he found out and he was like, why didn't you tell me you were applying to Emily Carr? Like, oh, I went there too. I'm so proud of you. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, I just kind of did my own thing. You found yeah. your own path. Yeah. I also, um, I had a scholarship to go to university for writing, creative writing. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I wanna do my own thing. So I went and took animation. And then several years later, I was like, I probably should have done writing. <laughs> I should do that. So then I went back to school. <laughs> to figure out what expression she's got. <laughs> hmm. She's like, she's like, this is like far, furrowed brow. Mm, like, oh, I can't believe you've done this. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you for that. I'm mm -hmm. gonna raise this up a bit. There you go. Okay, she looks like. Oh, maybe she's like looking away because she's like super Ooh, embarrassed. Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like that. I like this. And then she's good. I mean, some people do look down on the idea of becoming an artist, but you just gotta do your own thing, you know? And I feel like um, if you're going into art, you already know that maybe like making a living out of it is gonna be difficult, so you're more willing to, I don't know, keep at it than a job that you go into just because you think it's gonna make money. Um, you just gotta, you gotta keep going at it. <laughs> do what you enjoy doing. I certainly um, was very uh, concerned when I went into writing at first because I was like, there's no way that I'm going to get like a job out of this that's steady and uh, 
you know, support supports me or whatever. But I just didn't really even think about it. I just kept doing it because I enjoyed it. And then clay happened and it all worked out, you know? I'm getting this expression down that one. Yeah. But I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out. Sometimes you just you just gotta you gotta knock it down and you can just erase it and try again. Yeah. Does she have any props with her usually? Tape, right? Uh, yeah, she has mending tape. In in her in her art, was she ever holding like a wrench or something? Um, we really wanted to give her a wrench because we thought it really matched her character as like a former like a symbol like a factory worker um we didn't really know what uh sort of function it would have so she ended up having the the mending tape instead the trusty tape it's like duct tape no no sometimes like the line can be a subtle line change can mm -hmm. make a big difference to yeah. what, what the expression is. Uh, so I might, I might take a break from that and uh, just fill in some of the gaps ah. here while I think about it. So when you draw, like when you fill in the hair, you draw in the direction that the hair would go, right? Yeah. So it's not just like random lines. No. It's yeah. intentional. Yes. Cool. I guess we sort of gave away that it was Winona. I think it's out. It's I, I, th I, think they, I, think they <laughs> I think they figured it out. <laughs> yeah, this is Winona. She's, she's new right mm -hmm. now. But uh, everyone's going to get a chance to play her. I mean, she's right now she's on uh, Steam and Xbox. Yes. Um, but she will be coming to all platforms eventually. And, and if you didn't know that it's on Xbox, it's also on Xbox. Yes, one. we are on Xbox now. What was that? We're on Xbox. We're on Xbox. So he's thinking around on... I did have a lot of fun writing Winona's lines. It was kind of cool because I got to be in on uh, the character making process from like the very beginnings, so, like when we were generating concepts for who this person was going to be. And I really wanted to do a character uh, that related to some of the older lore that we have, of people like, um, for the people who were like following along with it and knew some of the deeper lore that isn't necessarily like directly in the game. Um, so I just got to do this cool character and figure out what her personality was and write all the lines. It was really cool. I even got to like uh, be there when people were discussing like what sort of mechanics she would have and that kind of thing. And it's just kind of a neat process to see. Yeah. And I had to wait so long for her to come out because it was the first thing I'd ever like. Uh, this, this is I'm into my second year of being like a professional writer, and this was like one of the first things where like uh, a thing had a release date that I had to wait for to see the thing come out. And I was just really excited when she got announced. And now that she's playable, it's just like it's really cool. <laughs> it's like seeing your baby. I know it is my baby. I think I did post that on Twitter. Um, when she got announced, I was like, my baby, she's out there in the world. Go check her out. Where can people follow you on Twitter? Uh, what is my Twitter handle? I think it's K-R-U-F-F, -F, K -R -U -F -F, another F, R-E-D-E-R-I-C-K-S. It's very weird. I have a weird name. <laughs> Do you have a Twitter? I don't. <laughs> I don't. Somebody do tried to it. spell out my Twitter handle and they did a really good job. I'm pretty sure that's exactly it. Is it obvious to people what he's trying to build? He's trying to fix a little alchemy machine there. Okay. So you're not just working on Don't Stop 2 though, right? Nope, you... also working on Oxygen Not Included. And I dabble in some other games too, but those are my two main ones. Alright. 
Are you working on other games? Uh, no, just don't stop. Yeah, not right now. Yeah, maybe maybe one day. Yeah. If if you guys have been drawing along, um, it'd be cool if you changed what Wilson was um, working on. Working on. Dupe Simulator. Is that the 3D thing that's on the forums right now? Because I've been checking that out and it's really cool. Somebody did um, 3D models of like a bunch of different the du duplicates from uh, Auction Not Included. Some of them are even like animated so that they have little walk cycles and stuff. It's really neat. Okay. Ah, cool. Did you use Maya? Is that what you modeled them in? It's pretty cool. <laughs> Cool. Uh, I took a course in Maya, and uh, I was very bad at it, as I am with most things that I've only done once or twice. Um, but I actually ended up using some of the like particle effects in my uh, my thesis film, and so I had like this orb that like exploded into bits, and then I exported that, and then layered a paper texture over it, so it looked like it was 2D. It was really fun. Yeah. You gotta check out uh, some particle effects in Maya, they're really neat. <laughs> you ever done 3D modeling, May? Uh, I tried to. Yeah? Um, I don't think my heart was in it at the time. Yeah. Um, and I found it very difficult. But, uh, you know, I'd, I'd love to pick it up again sometime. I think when you take animation, there's a lot of, like, expectation that you're going to go into 3D stuff because it's a lot of the industry right now, but there's still room for lots of 2D animation if that's where your heart is really at. Especially if you know, like, uh, different Flash programs and stuff. I think Animate is the one that's being used right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we use, no, we use an older version of Flash. Uh, CS3? It, um, yeah, it depends on some different projects are using different versions of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they're pretty similar. Uh, I, I changed the expression to kind of like shocked. Yes, dismay. Like, I can't, what are you doing yeah. kind of thing. But I'm, I'm still trying to figure out this other, this other arm. But it will be finished, um, and then it'll be posted on the farms if you guys want to check it out. So, um, yeah, I, won't, I don't think I'll be able to finish it right here, right now, but it'll, it'll be done. I could do a face palm, but then you don't get to see <laughs> the expression on her face. Yeah. Unless it's kind of like... Oh, that works. Kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I might make it a little <laughs> bit bigger. Yeah, so we, we don't have much time left, so if you ju if you guys have any uh, final thoughts, um, now's your chance to get that question in or that uh, feedback. <laughs> yeah, ask a couple questions about different things having to do with animation, art, writing kind of stuff. Um, I've heard some from some people that like you do need math for programming and then I've heard from others that you don't really need it as much. Um, I think there's room for all skill levels to figure out a good way to program things. If it's something you're interested in. Who was the person who gave Winona her signature cowlick? That would probably be Tony. I believe Tony designed um, the first character concept for her? It may have been Jeff, but I think it was Tony. Yeah. What are her perks in game? Um, she gets a free hit from Charlie during the night time. Um, she builds things faster, and she has her trusty tape, which helps her uh, mend things, kind of like a sewing kit, so she can fix stuff. So try it out. Hmm? So try try her out and see if you yeah. are using her. What's your favorite color, May? Uh, purple. Purple. That's a good one. Yeah. I like black. <laughs> Did you know black isn't a color? 
Isn't it like an absence of color? It's a, it's a, it's then, a shade. Oh. Or a tone. I see. I still think it's neat. What about um, very dark, almost black purple? Does yeah. that count? Yeah. Okay. You get a pass. <laughs> like my soul, says watermelon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's what watermelon said, not me. They're right, though. <laughs> White is the absence of color? White is the. I thought it was like, if you have a, Yeah, if you have a prism. Like, it's and you colors. split out white, it's like all the different colors. So that means that white is like. Although I guess it's different if you're talking about like the real light spectrum versus like digital art or something. I don't know. You know, I'm gonna finish this later because it's. Uh... <laughs> it's 4 30. Oh, Jan did say feel free to take a couple extra yeah. minutes longer if you, you want to keep playing music. What? If you want oh. to keep playing music. Uh, that's, that's not what he said, but... I think that is what he said. Yeah. Yeah, Jan. <laughs> <laughs> keep, keep going. Do your um, thing. Uh, are we jamming? You're jamming. I'm, I'm jamming. I'm, I'm drawing. I only know, like, a couple of chords. Ukulele is another thing that like I was just like, hey, I'm really bad at this. I'm gonna keep doing it until it sounds good, and you just gotta do that sometimes. I bought a $15 ukulele off of eBay and learned some chords off the internet, and I was just really bad. And you just keep going until it sounds good, and then you're good at a thing, and it's cool. So you're gonna keep playing until you're good. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep drawing till I'm good. Okay. until you're good. Fake it till you make it. Have, um, oh, some, put red on there. Do we have someone that's gonna be streaming afterwards? To keep uh, watching? We're gonna host somebody, and the person we'll be hosting is It's the Cheapest, and they're playing DST. So keep watching afterwards? Yeah, keep watching after we're gone. We're gonna show some really cool people doing some cool stuff. Not like now. No, not like now at all, with this cool drawing that we're seeing materialize before our eyes. So what, what, what I think is going to happen in this situation is um, Winona is going to just be frustrated. She's shocked and then she's going to be like, let me handle that and she'll take over. Yeah. So uh, yeah, once again, um, thank you so much for checking in. I'm going to switch the camera. Only? This one. Yes. I've been May. I have been Chris and will probably continue to be. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so post your drawings onto the forums. We'd love to see yeah. what you did. I'm going to post mine. You yep. can see what I did. Awesome. And um, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for coming. Thanks for I'll coming. your digital faces. Bye, bye. Until next time, farewell. <laughs> uh, which one? Outro. We are doing outro. Boom. Bye.